Darcy and our green car driver were just on the radio. I guess there's a really big fire east of here. I can definitely see flames, definitely burning one of our fields. It is already past the coolie. This is a huge crisis, and we might have to move fields right now. Yikes, that's bad. Right? Pick it up quick. I mean, you ain't stopping. driving out to it it's I'm headed west right now so when I turn around I'll be able to see and maybe show you that looks like a pretty big fire burning right there you can see the smoke something bad is happening I really hope whatever it is that it's gonna be okay and that no one's going to get hurt or any loss of crops there is definitely fire trucks headed out there and all we could do is hope for the best I'll keep you updated as I hear more there's the fire. Uncle Chris just said he's going to. He's going. He's going to go get the disc and help our neighbors. Our really, really nice neighbors. We think it's on their property, so we want to do everything we can to help. And that would mean taking the disc over there. It's across the coolie, which means it's actually farther than it looks, but it's really moving quickly into the coolie and. It's getting so much bigger just since I turned this corner, so let's hope for the best. I really hope everything's going to be okay. That's about the worst thing you can have happen at harvest time. And boy, is the smoke just billowing up. That is absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh, the fire is already in our field, my uncle just said. That is scary. Wow, it's passed through the coulee. I can see the flames. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's scary. Oh no. This is so scary. Look at that fire. This is the worst part of harvest. I am super nervous. I can definitely see flames. Definitely burning one of our fields. It is already past the coolie. This is a huge crisis and we might have to move fields right now. Chris has got the disc. Oh my gosh, this is scary. I know my dad's probably completely freaking out right now. I'm gonna stop the combine and get out once I finish this wheat swath. We've got the disc headed over and I think, oh gosh, I cannot believe how at that escalated so quickly. I'm getting out of the combine right now to see what's going on. Yikes, that's bad. Yeah, right? Pick it up quick. I mean, I'm not getting in front of that with this old water truck. I mean, you ain't stopping now. I saw flames from the combine, Grandpa. I saw the fire. What? I saw flames from the combine. What does he want? Did, did he say anything on the radio? Or? There, there isn't any good places to hide the combines here, unless we want to pull these ends here and disc in front of it. You know? Yikes. Well, pull, we could pull them up there across the road the other place. Well, Oh, yikes. Yeah, I was in the cab right there and I could uh, see I flames. I could see him too, okay? Oh, yikes. Well, they're in the summer follow up there. Or no, not, not in Jerry's or not. Maybe it's on summer follow right now. Let's, uh, uh let's go with Grandpa. Let's, yeah, if they're, if, I mean, this water truck's a thousand gallons. He's got a hell of a fire going on. If we caught it in the summer fall, I don't know whose it is. It don't matter whose it is. So maybe it's in the summer fall. If they can get in front of it in a summer fall field, they can catch this. If they can. This, this, they're not going to stop. If it gets into that. Or what that be? It was along the highway, or no, it was up up uh, on Wilson or something by Wilson. Oh, wow. Yeah, they better catch it in the summer fall. I just... Yeah, I wouldn't get into that seat at that, that stuff with the straw rows in it. I'd stay out and try and get this in the summer fall. I've never seen a field fire before. I see two discs right now. What are you going to do about it? Now, I just get on the top side of that dip wind side and cut it off, and then I'd work to get in there and work. That, that's just too much fire. Look at that, that fire nato. Like it 
tornado with fire. Are you kidding? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. No. Oh wow. It's all through there too. Okay, well I don't want to be four miles away from these combines if this thing is getting down here. We're two miles in here now. Well that's burning pretty hot and heavy there. I'd cut it off on this end and then you can go work on the other end because the wind is switching. North, south, and it's blowing now too. Maybe we should go get my pickup that we drive around in the start. Do you know whose field that is? No. No. I, those are two water trucks. Yeah, and they're out of water, I'm sure. Are we moving the combines? If it gets here, that'll be bad. Well, it's gonna burn all that down. It's gonna burn that down too. Well, I'm gonna go and try and set this combine because we can't use it. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I could sit around here. I could go park in there. That's the place to park right there. Okay. Chris was going, well, I can run that combine. I said, I, I need to set it. It ain't even been in wheat. We don't know. Might have bearings out. Do you want me to keep going around how Chris had thought? I'll just move out of there and you take my Yeah, road. but just go like I was. Yes. I wonder if we should go get my pickup so I have, I don't have a radio. Just in mind. case, yeah. Well, I want a radio. Uh, let's go get it. Now we're getting my dad's pickup. So we have... Extra things to burn down. Yeah, extra things to burn down. We've now got Campbell's spray airplane going through to try and help put this fire out, which is so kind. What was that, Dad? My Campbell just went over his airplane. Well, he can get in and dump some on stuff that people have a hard time getting to. Yeah, he can. Wow, that's a bad fire. My dad just said on the radio, it looks like it's picking up again. Fires are so volatile. I mean, you have no idea what they're going to do ever. It's pretty scary. Wow, this fire is bad. I really hope it doesn't burn into the wheat. If it burns into that wheat, everything is going to be burned up. Bear Campbell's spray plane goes by again. It's probably going to get more water. The fire's not looking good at all. As you can see, all of the neighbors are coming in to try and help. Tons of discs are over there and fire trucks. And my grandpa and I drove down with my dad on that road and we went right up to it. That field right over there is actually one of ours. And if it gets to this wheat here, we won't be able to stop it. Here's the combine with duels on running. This is my dad's new combine. There's my dad's new combine with duels running. And yes, it is a lot better. It feels like it's not going by so slow. My dad just asked me if it's better to have a friend in the field, meaning another combine, and it's so much better because these swaths go by a lot faster. The combine cab reeks of field fire smoke right now. I don't know why we're continuing to combine, but it looks like the people in the field next to us are too, and we want to just get this off the ground just in case it comes over here. My Uncle Chris was... Today it is lunchtime supper time so why don't you come over here we're parking for dinner right now there's my dad with his new combine with the duels on it there's the grain cart and the fire looks to be going down considerably they've got a lot of discs over there and my uncle chris is still over there there's my dad's new combine going by a disc broke and then it catches on one of those springy wipers so I have to remove the wiper before the disc will turn again. Uncle Chris is still trying to help put out the fire and he accidentally broke an arm of the disc and the disc. No, I don't, we might even have a new disc for that. And I do have the new wiper things and arms and everything. So. The sun is really well, beautiful. Well, for now, we just removed the wiper so we can use the disc in case of fire. The sun is very beautiful. I'm going to disc a uh, fire break between that and the lentils. 
Our cart driver accidentally forgot to dump after two loads from the combines. So I'm sitting here waiting because my dad was the third dump and then the cart driver had to go and dump and my dad already made it all the way around. So I think I'm gonna to have to back up and pull into this picked up part of the field because my dad's going to make it over here before the car driver even comes to dump. Oh no, a tire on Darcy's trailer is flat. It's not loaded with grain though, so that's good. Was it that one tire, Darcy? I didn't hear that. You had that bad tire, was it that one? Yeah, it was a bad tire and it went flat. Dean just drove this tandem in and look at the size of my dad's auger. That is just super long. I cannot believe it. I'm here with dad and we had a really big... Kate's egg dad. Kate's eggs dad, yes. <laughs> and we had a really, really big field fire. So what is your kind of thoughts that were going through your head that day? That they weren't going to stop it. Luckily, the wind switched and there were a couple of discs around and it was the wind switching that really saved everything, Kate. You know, because they just didn't push the fire into the stuff that they couldn't have gotten it out in. You know, it burned some wheat down there though. And five fire departments came out. Yeah. So it was crazy. It's the first field fire I've ever seen and a really big one at that. Dad's got his Milky Ways. What field fires do you remember growing up? Just, they happen every year, Kate. You know, you just hope it ain't happening in your field to you. you yes. Because it can get really expensive. Some people charge for straw and you know, if you, you know, it's just expensive. When, it's dangerous is what it is. Yes, very dangerous. I think there was at least five discs and five water trucks out there, but water trucks aren't much help when you're trying to put out a fire that big. How would you put it out with the disc? Well, you gotta slow it down. You disc in front of it and then it, it gets to a place it can't burn that fast and then the water trucks come in and get it out. You know, once in a while you can get them out if you catch them early. And wind is a real killer for it, you know. Yes, and it was windy that day. Yeah, but it switched, you know, and then it slowed it down and they got in front of it and got it out. And, and it did burn some of our summer follow. Yes, it did. But, you know. I'm, and lots of other people's as well. Yeah, probably. We're just lucky it didn't come across the road, burn the crops, the combines, everything. Well, that's why we I wanted to go back to the combines that, you know, I just got in this thing in the field. I hadn't cut anything. My dad just got his new combine that exact day, and he was—you were right trying right when to... the fire started. Yes. I just pulled in, and so I had to stop and re to reassess, out. reassess. Yeah. Yes, exactly. But then when we couldn't help much, we just went back to cutting because that's what we do with combines. How did you make the decision? Because we were only what would you say a mile away from that fire? Less than that. Not even. Yeah. So. In the combines, how did you make the decision to keep cutting and pick up that wheat? And why did you make that decision? Well, we, in case it jumped the road, which it would have had it, like in that video you have, if the wind would have pushed it at that rate, Kate, it would have jumped the road and gotten to the field we were in. We would have had to run with the combines to hide somewhere. Yes. Drive to the river and park in the river. Okay, I'm going to go cutting, Kate. Thank you, Dad. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Here you can see where the fire burned in the coulee and why it was so hard to put out. We were able to put out the fire on the farming land, but it continued to burn in the coulee for three more days until we finally stopped it. I'm here with Grandpa and we had a really, really big field fire. It was crazy. The first one I've ever seen. How many field fires have you seen, Grandpa? A lot? Oh, I've seen a lot of them. We usually have a bunch every year. The combines, the bearings get hot, start a fire before the combine guys even know it. Yes. Was this one of the big ones you've seen? Oh no, they have a lot bigger ones. Some of them are real small if you see them real quick, but uh, they're pretty dangerous. They are very dangerous. We didn't, do, I don't think they burned up much wheat this year though. I think it just burned up stubble. That was a scary day, wasn't it, Grandpa? Yeah. I didn't drive all the way down there. There was a lot of flames. I could see them from the combine. It's pretty bad if it gets going, you get a wind with it. You can't hardly get close enough to it to fight it. And we did have wind that day. I think there was five fire departments that came out. And there was an airplane. Yes, there was also a spray plane. Campbell Aviation was spraying water on it. Because it was in the coulee and the fires are very hard to put out when they're in the coulee because you can't take fire trucks and the water trucks that the farmers have. Although the farmers are the first people to get out to the field and try and put these fires out. It takes a little while to get all the fire departments out. 
Well, most farmers have a disc and a water truck with them. I think there were at least five discs out there that day. Yeah, there was that many. And at least that many water trucks. But they come from all over. Everybody's got a, usually a disc or a water truck out in the field during harvest time. Yes, which is Montana. very common in Montana. You always have your disc with you just because of how dry it is here and common field fires are. We've had a lot this year just because of how dry it is and we had the drought, so there's just been no moisture. I don't think we have ever started a double fire. I don't think we ever have. I don't remember us doing it. Some of them, if, if they don't see it, they, what happens is if, if it's on the combine, the combine part of the straw and chaff on the combine will keep dropping it off and keep, unless he sees it and stops. Yes, but we have had field fires burn our fields. For example, this last big one really burned some of our summer fallow. Have we had any field fires that have burned crop? I don't think so. I don't remember. I remember the neighbor one time got a fire burned a bunch of our stubble. So we've been pretty lucky with fires. Oh yeah, we've been real lucky with fires. We haven't had any there. I, I don't recall of us starting any fires. We have had fires in the combine, but we've caught them early enough to not start a big fire. Yeah. And that's really how these fires start, is a bearing goes out, which is one of the moving parts in the combine, and then it's just metal rubbing on metal and it starts a fire. Oh yeah. That's mostly how it starts, is from the machines in the field. Bearing goes out. You know, a lot of these bearings you can't see if they're, once in a while, burn up a combine. Yes. Did you ever see that picture in the shop of that big tractor burning up? Oh, no, I didn't. In the office in the shop? I'll have to look at that. There's a great big, uh, or it's a big bud. It's all full of flames. Wow, they can be quite frightening. Oh yeah, you get you get wind with it, and yeah, you, know, you got to be careful. You get a tractor or something like that in there, and you can't get out of it. You might burn up your equipment too, you know. Yeah. Thank you very much for the interview, Grandpa. Okay, try me again sometime. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> this fire probably burned around a thousand acres. It even burned some of our neighbor's wheat, which is really sad, but it also burned our neighbor's summer follow and our summer follow. This grain bin is actually ours and it's on our field that was partially burned by this fire. My uncle Chris disked all around it to make sure that the fire didn't burn the grain bin down. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. It was very scary and super scary in the moment when I was in the combine watching the flames and also driving right by the fire. But make sure to like and subscribe to see more really exciting videos Pause like it. this one. And also follow Pause Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S right? underscore A-G and on Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. You can also visit the Kate's Egg website to purchase a Kate's Egg tote bag, K-A-T-E-S-A-G dot com. Well, that was a very scary fire. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.